Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I would like to talk about um something that I haven't done before, you know. I'm gonna do something new. I'm gonna actually drop an archetype on you guys. A lot of people like they don't realize that it's out there. It's a rebounded slasher. Last year, if you were a 6'9 slasher, you were getting rebounds for days. Nothing could stop you on your vertical. You were snagging over glass cleaners with their grand badges. It was amazing. And this year that you actually get to become a rebounded slasher, it's done for. Like, you're literally not hindered in any way. You're not nerfed in any way because you chose a rebounded slasher. You're just basically boosted. You're even better. So, like, the only thing that's different this year is that you're probably not as fast as you were last year. But that's about it. Not even, like, I can shoot. I can finish. I can cross up. I can um, ISO if I wanted to. I can do almost anything. I can get especially rebounds, steals, blocks, all of that. And the main priority is scoring and rebounding, which is what rebounding slashes can do, especially with their badges this year. Like, I'm going to show you these stats. Like, the stats will be up on the screen, but those stats do not lie. I'm out rebounding centers, I'm out scoring point guards, shooting guards, power, uh, point, uh, power forwards. Centers. I'm like I'm doing the most, especially in pro round where you know it's not a lot where you can do too much. It's not a lot of space where you can do too much basically. Like this year, it's just insane rebound slashing. And like it's it's honestly amazing. Especially when you're on at the park. Because when you're at the park, you're just dominant. Especially if you have a center and a point guard on your team. And you're guarding a shooting guard because a lot of people run a guard lineup so you're guarding a shooting guard point guard even a small forward it's over like because your center has a big man so nothing literally nothing has a chance to stop you in the paint nothing nothing at all but um i'm going ahead and get on and go show you these badges that you get when you become a rebound and slasher because they're all amazing all right now lob city finisher I don't really use that that much, which is why I don't really have it upgraded that much. As you can clearly see, like this year, cut it simple. You're going to need a Hall of Fame, Lob City Passer, and a person that's not going to need Hall of Fame, Lob City Finisher this year. It's not. Like, lobs are definitely out of the question this year unless you're completely wide open. Other than that, none of that, which is why I don't really have that. One man fast break. Once you, like, as a rebounder slasher, once you get that board and you can just jet down to the other side of the court non stop, like nothing's in your way, you're gonna finish regardless. Especially with the posterizer that comes next. You see that posterizer? It, it's done. Like, I'm at gold and I'm booming on almost any and everybody. Like, nothing's stopping me in the paint when I'm dunking. Nothing. It's, and I'm so close to getting a Hall of Fame, which I'm gonna actually, uh, when I do, I'm gonna show you guys what that's like. Because I know a lot of athletic finishers got it because all you can do, all they need to do is sit on the rim and put it up and it's automatically a contact dunk. But with slashes, it's not that easy. So you actually got to like charge and get the contact dunk. But a lot of people in my career program, none of that, all of that, they don't let you like just get into the paint. But relentless finisher, that's also amazing. It only goes to gold, but shoot, gold is better than everything. Silver and bronze. I like Hall of Fame, but shoot, I'll settle with gold because like, Finishing all those layups, like a lot of people just saying, how did they make that on me and stuff like that? Psh, relentless finishing, man, I'm telling you. And Acrobat as well. They help a lot. Put back King. Now, that one was amazing that I did not know that I would get gold. I was excited when I saw that I got that gold. Because a lot of times last year, I would grab the board and put it right back up and make it. This year, gold put back King. With relentless gold, relentless finisher, and gold posterizer, Hall of Fame posterizer, yo, that that's going back in. When I snag, if you're not a big man, you're not stopping that from going back in. Even if you are a big man, it's still a small chance of you stopping that from going back in. Like that's that's done. Chase down all the silver, that helps out a lot. A lot of times you will like miss, but because you're not as fast as last year, you can't really like chase somebody down that fast. But shoot. If you get to a certain thing you know they're gonna put up and you push that triangle or Y button, it's over. You're sending that shit. Chase down all this is not something you wanna play with this year. You're gonna have to pump fix somebody with that. Cause if you don't, your layup or dunk is getting sent. Hustle rebound. Now I would love for that to get gold. I was kinda upset when it wasn't gold, but I'll take silver. 
but that that's a must bruiser and brick wall you're a big man now you're a real big man now you can you can really put people on the floor with your screens you can get them sucked in and when they run into you and constantly can't move around you their energy is gone whoever you're, whoever you're setting the screen for is wide open even if, that, even if your man switches off on them you can uh, pick and roll break start is actually really good because you know when you get the board defensive board sometimes your man's all the way down the court you want to swing that down to him and he make it it almost works every time for me but it's bronze so I'm trying to get that to silver but other than that, man, I'm just telling you, just give it a try. If you want to see my hoop mixtape for this uh, for this archetype, I posted one a few days ago. You can check that out. I'll put a link in the description. And, um, yeah, just give it a chance, man. I'm telling you, rebounding slashes are unstoppable as, um, as a big man. They really are. So I just want to leave that off with you guys. Give it a try, you know. VC scarce this year, so do what you got to do. But, um. I'm going to catch you guys later. Don't forget to like, rate, subscribe, and um, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Peace.